Intolerance can be described as unwillingness or refusal to tolerate, respect, and accept opinions or beliefs contrary to one's own. Believing that one's tradition or religion is superior to another is a major factor of crisis the world over. In Nigeria, two major issues are religion and ethnicity, which has become political. Leaders or aspiring leaders misinform their followers, therefore causing bias with different ethnic and religious groups always in loggerheads with one another. All religions are known to preach peace, yet adherents of these religions are always dug a drone when there is perceived conflict. What are the causes of this continuous rage and intolerance between religious and ethnic groups? In search for answers, Security Watch Africa spoke with Dr. Meisuna Yaya, founder of Al Mustafa Society of Nigeria, Pastor Chukuma Wokocha, founder of Chukuma Wokocha Ministry, Olinga Mbi Njang, member of the National Spiritual Assembly of the Baha'is of Nigeria, and Comrade Peter Ede, a philosophy lecturer, University of Abuja. Number one, uh, in Nigeria we have uh, political imbroglio. Number two, we have religious leaders. Number three, under religious leaders, we have uh, extremists that are practicing extremism. Number four, hatred based on the teachings, the learnings being done, and also the presentation of a uh, tenets of especially both two religions, Islam and Christianity, and Christianity by their leaders. Then number four, lack of understanding. For example, we have many quacks and auxiliaries in those two fields, the field of Christianity and the field of Islam. When it comes to the issue of religion, I will blame it much more on one, on the people who open their mind to believe in God through whichever uh, religious uh, sect, then I blame it also on our religious uh, leaders or teachers who are out there who do not teach the people on how to tolerate another religion. We see ourselves as enemies. We see ourselves as see we are competing. It's a kind of competition. And that is bringing a lot of hatred among all of us. It's bringing a lot of crisis. So uh, intolerance is creating crisis, a lot of crisis, not only in Nigeria, but all over the world. Mm -hmm. Serious crisis. No more patience. We do not allow the, other, the next person who feel we want to be on top we want to be more superior over the next person. Instead of you to have patience, you will not have patience. Let the person talk, you will not allow the person to speak. So these are the part of the crisis that is being caused by intolerance. On how people can develop tolerance for each other's belief, they give their opinion. We should respect and honor every single religion and the adherent of such religions. If I'm a Muslim, I should be able to relate with you. I should be able to accept and respect whatever you think you believe. If you say you're God, you have five gods. That is your problem. If I say I have just one, that is my problem. But that does not stop us from relating socially. You have your naming ceremony, your daughter is wedding. I can attend. You can as well attend. So when it comes to our beliefs strictly, then let us have our boundaries. I don't need to insult, I don't need to insult you, you don't need to insult me. You don't need to insult my God, I don't insult your God. You don't need to insult my book, I don't insult your book. You don't need to insult even the people of the other religion. So on that note, we should live amicably, peacefully. Then by that, we we'll live in tranquility. In fact, total tranquility. For anyone to be tolerable, he needs to be a virtuous person to be able to tolerate. People do not know that Christianity and Islam is a religion of peace. All of them are religion of peace. Mm -hmm. And they came to guide us. They did not come to rule over us. But the problem is, 
It is not ruling over us instead of guiding us. We allow it to rule over us until we understand what this religion means. Then we'll be going to talk about how do we allow other religious body, give them freedom of speech, give them, allow them to do what they know best, not leoing your own upon them. They also suggested the right time people should be thought about tolerating each other. So religious leaders, pastors and imams, they need to watch their words. Why? Because people listen to them, obey them, and follow them even more than political leaders. How do we teach our children what religion is and how they should respect other people's belief? Because once you start from that angle and we grow up with it, we we'll learn how to work with everybody, irrespective of their religious background. Humanity is what is important. The belief is aspect of what you have accepted as you grow up in your life. But the fact that we are human is more important than even religion. So once we see ourselves as human beings, and then we don't allow religion to come in between, we can build a better society. It's a parental thing. Your mother teaches you how to respect each other from the siblings. It starts from siblings first. The siblings, when you start from siblings, it will lead to other people. But when you don't have, you don't tolerate your brother, you don't tolerate your sister, you cannot say sorry if you have done something. If your parents do not teach you that, then when you go out, you do not see anybody as someone you should, you should tolerate. By that time, you don't have patience. It should start from the home. The foundation should be from the home. Then from the home to the school. That is how it should start. Finally, on the way forward for Nigerians in tolerating religious and ethnic differences, they said. So we should stop campaigning, whether directly or indirectly, in the mosque. We should stop campaigning, whether directly or indirectly, in the churches. Let's leave it outside. Well, if you have an enemy ceremony, you can do that. That is not a mosque, but within the four walls. Because this is where people concentrate, tend to listen, tend to obey, and tend to follow whatever you say. Religion has a way to play in even unifying the ethnics in our country. So for us, religion stands as a very key center in uniting the people and helping all the people to work together. Because there is no religion that is better than the other, but they come according to the need of a certain time. The spiritual truth of every religion remains the same, but the social teachings differ according to the need of which that religion comes to the world. So there are so much we can do together. But for us Baha'is, we don't believe in too much of saying, but we like working with people and to see how we can build a very vibrant community, irrespective of our religious background or ethnicity. If there's love among us, all these things are very easy. Because there's no law, we look at each and every religion and where we come from as a crisis. And that is why it's causing problems. I should be able to love somebody that comes from the East and their culture, what they do. I should love it. I should learn from it. I should be able to love someone that comes from the North, their, their traditional way of doing things. I should love it. I should not discriminate one another. I should not put problems into or create problems or be going to incite issues or problems in another person's culture or way of life. So if we begin to have this kind of thing, we'll be able to resolve it. It's very easy. Because when there is love, all these things will not have problems. You will love other people's culture. With all these views shared, tolerance is not negotiable. It should be an acceptable culture by humans, no matter the color, race, tribe or religion for we are all created in God's love and designs. Respect everyone and what they stand for or believe in. Humanity should be the goal, not war and division. Peggy Agbe, Security Watch Africa, Abuja.